Solve this equation. Square root of x times square root of x times square root of x equals 3. Very good. What shall we do? Maybe we're going to say, at the very first step, we square the both sides, and then, again, square the both sides, and then, again, square the both sides. How many times? For three times. Okay. It's mad. Crazy, isn't it? So, I would never recommend that way to you, but this one. Look, how many square roots does this x have? One. There is only one square root over it. How many square roots does this x have? Two, because it is square root of then again square root of x. How many square roots does this x have? Three. There are three square roots over it. So that means it has three square roots. So what we can do is to separate them. How? Look, the left hand side can be written as square root of this x. It has only one square root over it. Times square root of square root of this x. It has two square roots over it. Times square root of square root of square root of x. It has three square roots over it. And that's all. Equals three. You're going to say, oh, you are mad. How many square roots are there? I made it in this way in order to make it clear and let you understand it better. Square root of something, square root of m, is just m to the power of a half. So this is very useful. This guy is only x to the power of 1 over 2. What about this guy? It has two square roots. Nothing will happen. Two square roots. Is equal to the fourth root of m. In the same way, it is m to the power of one fourth. So actually, in general, we have the nth root of m equals m to the power of one over n. Very good. So that means this one is x to the power of one over four. This one is square root of square root of square root of. It is the eighth root of x, x to the power of 1 over 8. Very good. At last, we need a formula that is a to the power of b times a to the power of c equals a to the power of b plus c. This formula is not only for two sections, a to the power of b then times a to the power of c, but also for more. For example, here, we have 3. So it is x to the power of the new exponent as the sum of all these exponents. 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth equals 3. And that is x to the power of 7 eighths. Here, we'll take a new power, and the power will be the reciprocal of this exponent. So this is 7 over 8, and we will take 8 seventh as the new power. Of course, we have another formula. a to the power of m all to the power of n equals a to the power of m times n. So this one is x to the power of the product of these two guys is 1. And the right hand side is 3 to the power of 8 seventh. 
It is 3 to the power of 1 plus 1 seventh. And this guy is 3 times 3 to the power of 1 seventh power. And the answer can be 3 times the seventh root of 3. Do you get it? Give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.